last five days, um, whatever I had left in me um, to get up every morning and walk um, was gone. I, I couldn't do it anymore. And um, you know, my, I had to send my son to my parents' house early because I couldn't even drive him back and forth to school anymore. Um, and you know, my chronic pain and this suffering was causing suffering across the board. My poor kid, I, you know, I just feel terrible that he has had to go through this. Um, so after the surgery, I'm telling you, two days, uh, I had some visitors and I didn't have any pain. I didn't have the nerve pain. I didn't have um, any pain in my back from the disc um, where it had herniated. The doctor came in and said that he had never seen in all of his 17 years of, of practicing, and this is what he does, um, uh, is primarily this kind of surgery. He said he had never seen a herniation so large and just crushing those poor nerves. And he was really worried that I was going to have um, nerve pain and back pain for the rest of my life. Uh, and I'm telling you, I didn't at day two. Um, I was better day three. Again, taking the conservative route, you know, a lot of people are out of the hospital in three days. I was there nine, ten days. Um, that was really out of choice. Um, so I don't want to scare anybody about that. Um, but I needed to be there and I needed to get better. I was getting some um, rehabilitation while I was there. Um, but already I, I, you know, was doing laps around the hospital like nobody's business. Um, so anyway, I got home again, the leg pain is still an issue, um, but it's not um, related to the surgery. It's not related to the nerve pain. Um, this is just, uh, I don't know, according to my doctor, um, when I went and saw him at the six week follow up, uh, is something that his patients complain about. So I'll do some research on that and, and keep going, but it hasn't prevented me from walking. It just, you know, it makes my mornings kind of miserable, um, at the moment. But, uh, you know, if, uh, like I said, so a week ago, <laughs> my father and I, um, go for a drive. He, uh, other than my walking, doesn't really like me out of the neighborhood. Um, it's February. It was January, February. There, we've had lots of snow and then no snow, but lots of ice storms and all kinds of stuff going on. And um, he didn't really want me out of the neighborhood. So the first time I go out, I'm in the car with him and we get broadside. We're not even out of the neighborhood. We're about one block away from being out of the neighborhood. And we're broadsided by a teenager who had had his license for all of two weeks. He was driving a huge Ford Expedition and slammed right into um, the passenger side of my dad's SUV. Um, it's a smaller SUV. And um, luckily I was okay. I mean, I definitely had, um, you know, tensed every muscle in my body. I had to get out of the car immediately. I could just, I, it was awful. Um, my dad got a little bit of whiplash, but overall um, that was it. Um, both of us just had a couple of days of, um, you know, muscle pain and what have you. Now, um, so got over that, was walking again. I was, you know, walking my hills. I was walking, you know, three, four miles. Um, and then um, yesterday, so exactly a week later, yesterday I, um, um, oh, so at my eight week, which was Tuesday, last Tuesday, um, my doctor said, okay, driving's okay, but let's gradually do it like you do everything else. You know, you don't, you don't get out and start walking three miles. You know, you work your way up to it. Um, and same thing with driving. Uh, you get your permission to drive. You don't hop in the car and, you know, drive 600 miles. So um, I had uh, been doing mini trips and five miles and seven miles. Anyway, by Friday, so four days later, um, I have to go pick up my kid at school. It's the first time I'm picking him up from school. I'm so excited about it, right? And uh, so I decide, though, because of the distance, that I will stop at my house, which is the midpoint, and I will, um, uh, you know, get out, check my house, take a little break. But unfortunately, this is what happened. I walked in and I trip over a, an area rug and it was a huge trip. Uh, I was walking quickly. I don't know what happened. Um, and I'm literally going to be flying through the air. So I'm trying to catch myself. Um, I immediately feel this huge pull in my back. 
Um, I'm trying to figure out how not to fall. It is like this slow motion movie, but I'm falling forward and forward and forward and I can't stop. When I realize I am gonna go down, I uh, kind of put out my hands. I'm hoping that maybe I'll just fall flat on my hands and knees if I can control it at all. I mean, how ridiculous, of course I couldn't control it. So I land and fall over to the side. I am petrified, I feel this pull. So this update of my, of, of my two month uh, anniversary of uh, my PLF recovery um, is kind of bittersweet because um, I am now left, I, I, so I immediately um, emailed the neurosurgical team at Hopkins that I have and uh, my doctor emailed me back right away. And I had basically told him I fell. I don't feel like any shooting or excruciating pain right now. Now realize it was within minutes. I had emailed him um, from my phone. So, um, but he said, look, you know, I don't really think you need an x-ray right away. Um, you know, put some ice on it. And uh, if it doesn't get worse, you're probably okay. And we'll wait and get an x-ray in a couple of months. Um, but I'll tell you this. So, I uh, called my sister, uh, who lives not too far away now, and um, you know she helped me out. Um, I get home, and you know my mom's birthday is today, and uh, you know at the end of the day, my dad would like me to be very conservative and stay at home and and take things so gradually on the front end and be sure because I have a lot invested. It's not an easy decision to make to have um, you know a fusion and um, you know you. It's it, it's not like having a tonsillectomy. I had a tonsillectomy like four years. I guess I was 40. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I was 40. And, um, you know, the doctor will tell you, hey, you know, there's a beginning, middle, and end. And um, it, it, you know, you're healed in two weeks and you move on with the rest of your life. And um, I am going to have like another mini-series type thing because um, I am, um, you know, very... I guess what I realized with having my spinal fusion is that this is a journey. It's it's not just, you know, you come to the decision. I mean, this is a journey. So I do want to delve into that a little bit more um, because when I went to YouTube and saw other people's videos, it was the first time that I realized that there could be a life and a good one um, with a good quality of life and um, being pain free after the spinal fusion. Some of these boards where people post stuff, um, you know, they're having problems um, and there's validity to that. I don't wanna downplay it, but it, it, see, it all seemed so negative to me. What I realized is those are just little snapshots and people asking for help and, and, and needing, you know, some advice on, on their particular experience, which is not going that well. And then when they're better, or it, you know, maybe they're not, but when people do get better, they don't go back to those forums necessarily and say, hey, I'm doing well, it's awesome, and I'm feeling so much better, and everything's great. But um, when I went to YouTube and I was watching people's, um, you know, uh, diaries and updates, that's when I could see kind of the full circle of, yes, you can um, come out of this um, positively. And so um, one of the things that I wanted to do myself is um, have those video diaries and, and post up because, um, you know, kind of in the pay it forward. Now I have been doing dailies, uh, daily video um, for myself. I wanted to post them all every day. That has not happened because um, you do find in the, in the first few months your days are about um, you know, making sure that you're walking and eating the right foods and, and doing your mild exercise you're supposed to be doing. And, and um, you know, I don't know what I did before, but I certainly know that, uh, you know, everything is around my recovering from my spinal fusion up to this point. So um, to have, you know, if, if I had posted just two days ago, I would have said, wow, um, when the doctors told me it would be six, nine, 12 months before I would really be great again, um, I was definitely on the fast track and, and doing wonderfully. I was kind of my doctor's star patient. Now, some of that is because of age, obviously, you know, being younger in terms of back surgery. Um, but, uh, you know, with a fall yesterday, I'm kind of, like I said, it's bittersweet. Um, 
I'm having pain that I didn't have before. The pain that I was having um, right after surgery was primarily incisional pain. Um, the leg thing, daily leg thing, I don't really feel that that um, is related to the surgery. I could be wrong. I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm just a, you know, I'm a ghoul doctor. Um, but so it's bittersweet because I now do have pain. I feel like I can feel where the rod and screw is and I'm very concerned about that. So um, I'm definitely going to post this video because, um, you know, it's relevant. It's, it, it, it's my two week. I mean, I'm sorry, my two month um, anniversary. And uh, so I want to post it. Um, if anybody sees this and has um, any experience with you know, having an accident, falling, so anything like that, um, please let me know. I would, I would love to uh, get your take, um, hear some advice. I will be looking at myself and, and seeing if anybody else has, you know, had this happen. Um, I'm a little nervous on how to proceed. Um, I definitely will take some steps back. I've been icing um, my back. I haven't told my mom um, um, or my dad because I really feel like... Uh, I don't want this to be the birthday present. I mean, my goodness, my mother um, would love me to be out of her house. She's she's a great caretaker, and God love her. She has put up with me and my son for months. Um, you know, and for grandparents to be doing this is is no small feat. So I really want my mom to have a great birthday today. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I have a birthday cake to frost. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to do everything without wincing. Um, unfortunately, I, I do need to take my, my medication again. I, I'm really at a loss at this point. Um, I'm kind of forging forward um, and pretending like it's not there, but it is. Uh, and I'm nervous. So um, anyway, I will probably post again soon. Um, and like I said, I have all those videos, um, my daily videos. I thought I might post them anyway. I don't know if anybody else is interested other than myself, but um, if you are, let me know and I'll post them. Um, it's a difficult decision to make and the more information you have, um, the better anyway. So I hope everybody has a great day. Take care. Thanks for listening.